Hey, hello everybody. I do this playlist to help you to discover and improve your Ansible level. As things uh, progress, uh, I show you more best practices, tips and tricks uh, to be better with Ansible. In this video, I uh, will learn uh, to use uh, the apt uh, module. Before, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. If you want to find uh, the documentation about uh, this module, you can uh, follow these links. Or if you want, you can uh, go into your terminal and uh, you can use the Ansible-doc binary and add apt for apt module. If you do it, you can show, uh, you can uh, see uh, uh, some parameters about uh, this module. So, the purpose of this module is to install or remove or manage packages. This is a very, very important uh, module in Ansible, of course. So, for Debian uh, installation. This module takes some parameters like install uh, recommends. Uh, this could be used to install recommended packages, uh, to install a uh, package. Obviously, you can use uh, uh, the name parameters to specify the name of uh, the package name. You can use only upgrade if you want just upgrade a package or many packages. You can use Polizei uh, RCD uh, if you want uh, to change uh, the applicable rules after installing uh, the package. Uh, for example, if you want uh, to automatically uh, uh, start uh, the systemd service, you can do it or if you want to stop it. You can use uh, purge uh, parameters uh, to purge uh, configuration files. This is like uh, dash dash purge uh, about uh, apt uh, command line. State parameters, obviously, because uh, you can add a present uh, state or an absent state, uh, present to install a package, absent uh, to remove a package. Or you can use uh, latest if you want to uh, just uh, install the latest version of this package. You can use fixed uh, to pin uh, this package or just uh, build a dependency. Update cache uh, parameters. Uh, this is uh, if you want to do an update uh, cache uh, before uh, the installation. For example, if you are if you had a, a repository, update cache retries. Uh, if you want to set a number of retries uh, for the the update cache option, update cache retry max delay. Uh, if you want to set a timeout uh, for uh, the this these retries, not the update, uh, but uh, these retries. Upgrade. Uh, if you want to do an upgrade, yes or no, or uh, uh, the type of uh, this upgrade. Let's get start started. And uh, I don't explain uh, you again uh, what I do uh, to have uh, some containers like uh, virtual machine. But you can see uh, the, the video number 12. And uh, to create some containers, I use a script, uh, deploy.sh. You can uh, uh, get this script uh, with uh, the video number 12. And I add a dash dash create option. And I specify I want uh, three containers. OK. So now I have three containers like uh, VM with SSH uh, to use Ansible with these uh, containers and uh, with systemd, okay? And this is uh, the IP uh, for these containers. 
So now I go into uh, Visual Code and uh, to help you, uh, this script have a dash dash Ansible option to create an Ansible uh, directory like this and add an uh, inventory file into uh, this directory with uh, the with IP of these containers like this. So now I add a file, a playbook file to start playbook.yml like this and I add the name of this playbook, my first playbook for example maybe my second uh, because uh, we have already done uh, some playbook uh, now so uh, I specify uh, the host so some group or specific host in our case we use all uh, server and we can use all group and um, we use apt module and apt module uh, need to use uh, privileges uh, escalation privileges and uh, we add become to yes to use sudo command for all tasks in our uh, playbook file so now we add a task and uh, first of all we do just an update and uh, this update uh, add, uh, we add a, a cache valid time for this update to uh, 3600 uh, one hour simply so I add it into my playbook like this ok and if I do it I can uh, run it in the windows below and uh, Ansible playbook dash i I specify uh, the inventory file sorry I must go into Ansible directory like this Ansible playbook dash i specify the inventory and add my playbook file I run it so um, maybe I have an error uh, after uh, task, sorry. I must specify I use tasks, uh, not a role, but a task. We'll see uh, in a few videos uh, how to use roles. So I run it again, and now if you check, this task uh, takes some time because we do uh, an update on all uh, servers and after it uh, I have OK on all tasks for each server OK so all server uh, on all server I do an apt update uh, simply now if you want you can add a name like this name and I want to install a uh, HA uh, proxy is a reverse proxy and load balancer and uh, by default Ansible uh, use state to uh, present and install uh, the package so I can uh, remove it but I uh, keep it into my uh, task uh, this is more uh, uh, more simply so I run it again and now if I open a terminal and I go into one of these containers 172.17.0.2 for example and if I check maybe it's later so I have install HA proxy and if I uh, check sudo uh, so maybe if I install Asha proxy, I have a directory uh, for my Asha proxy uh, configuration. And uh, if I check, I can do sudo systemctl. Sorry, 
system ctl status and asha proxy like this and i have asha proxy but it is not uh, active and i can uh, start it if i want start asha proxy okay like this asha proxy and okay I can do a status again and I active uh, an Asha proxy. Okay, so and, um, another parameter uh, if you want, you can install uh, another release of Asha proxy uh, to show uh, which release we have install in our uh, containers I can run sudo apt list uh, dash i and asha proxy and I see I have an asha proxy with stable uh, release okay so if you want I can do a dash a and with dash a I can see I I can uh, install another release like uh, stretch uh, backport for example and to do it I can add these parameters like this I copy it and paste it into my tasks so I run it again and now uh, ah, sorry yes I must, I must remove it uh, before like here, uh, um, I copy that. I can use remove to have a state with a remove to remove packages. Package. So uh, you must be one of uh, not remove. Sorry, absent. This is apt uh, to remove, not. Uh, not absent and uh, in Ansible it's, this is absent. So I remove the package and uh, now I add uh, this line with stretch uh, backports now and I run it again. I, I uh, install again uh, Asha proxy and now if I go into my terminal and I check uh, dash i I can see I have uh, now uh, the stretch backport uh, release. Okay, so um, if you want, you can uh, do an update cache. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, no. Uh, if you if you want, you can use uh, state uh, latest state. Sorry, uh, we can add it here. State latest. Maybe if I, I remove the default release, I can do it again and I run it. So Ansible have uh, removed and uh, un install again Asha proxy because uh, our status is to change. And if I check into my terminal, uh, sorry, like here. Oh like here. Uh, if I check uh, the version uh, of my Asha proxy, I can see I have uh, removed uh, backport uh, release and I use again a stable release. Okay. Now, sorry, I go to the slide. Now, if you want can remove uh, our package. To do it, I add absent and I can uh, remove update uh, because this is not uh, necessary and the cache valid time. I run it again and now we have remove uh, Ansible. Like here. Okay, this is an empty list. And uh, if you want, you can clean and remove, uh, like uh, apt, uh, sorry, like apt uh, command line. And to do it, uh, you can add purge uh, to yes and auto remove to yes. Okay, to do it, I go into my task and I add auto remove to yes and purge 
to yes again. I save it and I run it again. So we have a status to change. And if I check, uh, I think uh, if I do a ls on slash etc, and we uh, we doesn't uh, we haven't uh, a directory for hproxy because we have clean uh, our installation about uh, hproxy. Okay, so uh, I think that's all. No, uh, if you want, you can install many packages. So to do it. You check. Ah, so we have git, uh, we have vim. So it's not a good example, but uh, if you want, uh, we can uh, remove uh, many packages. Uh, not install, but uh, remove. To do it, uh, this is simple. We use absent, uh, state absent, and we add uh, git and uh, vim, for example. You can do uh, uh, a state to present uh, with the, uh, the same uh, the same list, and we have uh, the same result. But uh, this is uh, an installation, and in our case, we we remove uh, these uh, three packages. To do it, I uh, I save it again. Okay, and I run it again. Take some time, okay. And Ansible do it in our three server. And if I uh, do again a git, we don't have git. Vim, we don't have vim. And if I check Asha proxy, I don't have. I haven't have Asha proxy, okay. So that's all I think uh, for today. Yes. And uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. Don't miss uh, the next one and uh, I say you uh, goodbye.